before. We're here at the Factory Entertainment booth. We always love seeing what kind of surprises they have in store for us. And it's always a tradition to stop by and check out all these great props and fandom uh, products that they make. So stick, stay tuned and let's see what they have. Hey, Tommy Vargas here with Factory Entertainment. I'm the product development manager, and I would love to show you guys a little glimpse into what we have coming soon, our current offerings, and some prestigious models from our Effie Masterworks line. So starting over here, we have some items that are currently available on our website at factoryent.com. And these are our House of the Dragon prop replicas, as you can see. We have our Viserys crown right here, which we uh, announced a couple of months ago. It's made out of all metal, and it's a one-to-one -one scale. Uh, 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 the prop replica. Then over here we have our two just announced swords from the series as well. On the bottom we have the Dark Sister Sword and on the top we have the Blackfire Sword. And again these are made out of all metal. You have a leather wrapped um, uh, uh, handle and uh, a pommel that's made out of uh, metal as well, some out of brass, so it's, it's pretty cool stuff. On the bottom here we have our Colonial Warrior Blaster from Battlestar Galactica. That hasn't been released yet, but we're hoping to release that within the next couple of months here. It also features electronics and, and some sounds. To the left of that, we have our Chris Knife from Dune. That's currently available on our website. That'll be shipping very soon, probably within the next month or so. Uh, going down, this is the second iteration of the Power Sword from Masters of the Universe. It's the animation style. A lot of the fans were requesting that we create something that's more representative of the actual animation style, so that's what we've decided to do here. And that'll be announced in the next couple of months. To the right of that, we have a LARP Power Sword, and it's made out of a high-density foam for a live-action roleplay. And then below that, we have our She-Ra prop replica sword, which is currently available on our website. That's a limited edition of only 250 pieces, and we are anticipating to sell out very shortly. So here is our Star Trek dedication plaque. We just announced this at the show. It's a brand new replica that we're planning to have on our website available for pre-order within the next couple weeks. Uh, moving down here, we have our medical tricorder. We just announced this last Saturday, and believe it or not, it is flying out. We are going to sell out of that thing probably by the, uh, by the end of August. To the left of that, we have our Strange New, Strange new Worlds um, phaser. Um, we probably are going to have that up on for pre-order within the next couple of months. Below that, we have our assault phaser. And again, all of these replicas are uh, constructed out of metal and mixed, and, and mixed materials, actually, but they all feature lights and sounds. Uh, the assault phaser is one that we're really excited about because it has a lot of moving components, too, including a removable clip. To the left of that, a fan favorite Cobra phaser that a lot of people, or sorry, before that, the uh, an agonizer from the original series, and that also features uh, sounds. And then to the left of that, the fan favorite Cobra Phaser, which we're really excited to uh, come out with. Again, probably within the next couple of months, we'll have that available for pre-order. So one more thing from Trek. Jordy's visor, made completely out of metal with a brilliant uh, display case and stance. Um, again, probably the next couple of months for pre-order at factoryent.com. All right, and then so that's our odd job hat from James Bond. Uh, we've, we've announced that previously, and that's available on our website. To the left of that is our Solux Agitator and the gold bullion bar prop replica. And that thing is actually weighted, so it feels like an actual gold bar. Um, and above that, we have some more Star Trek items. Um, we have our Klingon communicator and our Klingon disruptor. Okay, and above that, we are expanding our scaled prop replica line with some new additions. Uh, and the prop, scaled prop replica line is just comprised of uh, affordable prop replicas that you can pretty much display anywhere, like in a home office or in a living room if you're short on space. And so there's the attache case and the jetpack from James Bond. We have some items from Harry Potter, like the Sword of Gryffindor, the Shira Sword of Protection, and a lot of new Star Trek additions uh, that, we're, that we're also coming out with, as you can see here. And then above that, we have some Ultraman uh, skulls. And some more men in black items, more men in, and another Ultraman uh, 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 gun up there, and then um, a couple of different items from uh, Battlestar Galactica and Harry Potter. All right, so here's a medical tricorder that we currently have available, for, again, for pre-order at factoryant.com. And again, this one has been selling like crazy, but let me show, let me show it to you. It's really great. The, bottle's, the body is made out of metal. It's actually cool to the touch right now. They're running the AC. So here we go. When you open it up, you can see that it actually has a functional LED screen and a lot of fantastic lights there and sounds. And then when you push each one of these buttons, it'll actually switch the LED screen to each one of the different modes. One thing we haven't shown in the video yet is at the top, when you remove the hand scanner, you can actually see the LEDs within the top of the body as well. And so when you close it, and I can also show you the hand scanner. Yep. And so here's the hand scanner. 
And as you can see, it lights up and also has sounds. All right. And that is that. All right, so these are some of our exclusive premieres that we have at San Diego Comic-Con. They're available on the show floor and also on our website, factoryand.com. So starting with our Cat's Paw uh, Star Trek replica, um, that's a one-to-one -one scale replica. It's a limited edition of only 1,000 units, and it's been selling very well. We anticipate another sellout probably by the end of August, um, and it's one of those pieces that a lot of uh, Trekkers are just going crazy for. To the left of that is our Cricut uh, bottle opener from the next generation. Uh, what we try to do with our bottle openers is try to make them look and feel as though that there's something more than just a, a boring bottle opener. We really try to, we, re we really feel like we've accomplished that with a lot of them that we've produced. And uh, this is just another addition to that. So left of that is our Peacemaker bottle opener. Um, it has a highly reflective finish on it. Um, and it's heavy duty and it just, it opens with bottles of these. Uh, to the left of that is the just announced uh, Mechanical Bruce in our scale prop replica line uh, made out of metal and comes with an acrylic display stand and uh, base. To the left of that, we have our Batman Returns uh, Battering. We have several Batterings available within our Scaled Prop Replica line, and this is the latest edition. Uh, we have one from The Batman. We have one from the 1989 Batman, and coming very soon, we'll have one from the 1966 TV series. To the left of that, we have the uh, Back to the Future Plutonium case. Made out of metal, it has a really nice, like heavy feel to it. Um, and it actually opens and closes, which is a lot of fun. And then finally, to the left of that, we have our House of the Dragon uh, Viserys Crown in a scaled prop replica iteration. You noticed when we talked earlier uh, through the other case, uh, you saw the one-to-one -one scale, so we're coming out with something smaller as well, so we can display it anywhere. And then finally, we have our Viper metal bottle opener from Battlestar Galactica. Fortunately, that's sold out at the show, but if you go onto the, our website, factoryant.com, uh, that'll be available there to ship uh, later in August. So, last year we announced our uh, flux capacitor prop replica from Back to the Future, and we've decided to expand our offerings with prop replicas from Back to the Future, and we're coming out with our time circuit prop replica. Um, we haven't determined much in terms of price point or availability because we're still in the very early stages of development on the piece, but what's great about this is it's actually fully functional. It has the destination time, the present time, and the last part of time, and you can plug in a custom date. So, for instance, I can plug in 1021 2015. And it populates October 21st, 2015, and it comes with all of the sounds as represented in the actual time circuits that's inside of the DeLorean. Uh, so we're really excited to come out with that. And then just to mention a kind of greatest hits piece, so to speak, our flux capacitor. Um, one of my personal favorite pieces I've ever had the great fortune of working on is just absolutely stunning. It comes with a remote. Um, and it actually has, I don't know if we showed it off last year, it actually has a uh, time jump sequence, which I can illustrate. Um, so if you give me one second here. Here we go. So it's like you hit 88 miles per hour. So there we go. All right, so our FE Masterworks line is a uh, is a series of studio scale uh, spaceships or starships, um, ranging from different uh, movies and TV series. And they are what's great about these is they're one to one models that are hand built, handcrafted in the United States by artisan by by um, veteran model makers. So these are incredible works of art, so to speak. And the prices range from fifteen thousand five hundred dollars all the way to twenty thousand dollars. And so we just dis um, debuted this piece the uh, Reliant, and we're really excited about it. As you can see, it features an amazing just paint job. It's made out of mixed materials, and it comes with all the bells and whistles like lights and sounds and so on. And they're really big, and they're, they're really just for the premium collector, the person that needs to have those type of models that look like they came from the shows that they were, they were in. So coming over here, we have the just announced Phoenix from First Contact. And one of my favorite things um, to, uh, to look at here are the spinning nacelles. Yeah, that, that, should, that looks brilliant. And then inside the cockpit, there's an incredible amount of detail, and there's a whole series of lights in there as well. Okay. 
All right, so this is another addition to our FE Masterworks line. This is the um, Enterprise E. It's a show debut, and it is our most ambitious and our largest ship that we've ever released, um, as you can see. And so we're really thrilled to come out with it. And it actually comes with a shuttle below. Um, and it's, again, I can't understate it, it's massive. Thank <laughs> you. 